All right. I guess we need to talk about this one again. By the way, are you guys happy that I don't say the same things at the start of a video like everyone else does? Or would you prefer I did because it's kind of jarring to jump straight? Bitcoin jumps around 6% around the news of an Iranian retaliatory missile strike on two Iraqi bases housing US and coalition troops. Thankfully, no casualties have been reported. This has reignited the age-old debate, the long-running debate among investors, whether or not Bitcoin can act and work as a safe haven asset like gold in times of political, geopolitical, financial, economical. Those are all the same things, basically. Some crypto holders view this as pretty great news. Some others though, great. I hope this is a coincidence and not more misery and suffering and possibly military escalation causing a few gains for the very few. Amen. I want Bitcoin to moon as much as anyone else, but not like this. Not like this. I'm wondering if suffering would actually be an inevitable part of the journey and that makes me sad. Suddenly, unbacked tether printing as a way to pump crypto sounds cute in comparison to needing World War III to do it. Despite the timings, I'm still of the opinion that this is unrelated, at least until we get some more corroborating evidence. Two events is just not enough to go off of. What I think is probably far more likely is whales playing games. After all, Bitcoin as a safe haven during economic turmoil is a pretty easy thing to sell. That sounds far more likely to me than actually people en masse suddenly believing Bitcoin is a safe haven, at least right now. But I can't understand why some people would believe that narrative. Looking at the gold markets, we can see they have been rallying, but they have been rallying for the past two weeks straight now. The news of these heightened tensions only breaking about one week ago. The S&P 500 also looks completely unaffected as of right now. Plus, correlation between Bitcoin and gold has been described as weak. It's not a very strong correlation at all, according to Greenspan. Based on data compiled by Coinmetrics, the correlation coefficient over a one-year time period between gold and Bitcoin is now a mere 0.15. I presume a 1 being perfect symmetry, up from minus 0.04 back in May 2018. I guess we are about to find out though if there's any legitimacy to this narrative, if this Bitcoin growth is anything out of the ordinary. And despite rallying for the past few days straight, it still looks completely ordinary. We are touching the top of this downward resistance line while simultaneously hitting an RSI value of 70, which has remained an important level of resistance for Bitcoin for more than a year. This is the reason why I believe the growth is nothing out of the ordinary. You would have expected this upper level to be tested at some point, potentially very soon, maybe not so dramatically, but still to have happened. In other words, we still have yet no confirmation that we are out of a downward trend, at least right now. We will see though. I'm really not firm in my convictions, despite only two events not really being enough to draw conclusions from i do think it makes sense for bitcoin to be considered a safe haven asset during times of war governments have increased inflation to fund the cost of it bitcoin being a deflationary asset is the ultimate hedge against it has little to no correlation with any other asset on the world it makes total sense it is the perfect hedge against everything it's the perfect safe haven asset but at the same time, I, I, I do think it's still a little bit premature for the masses to consider it as such. A great speculative asset? Yes. A good long-term hold? I think so. A safe haven? Ah, that, eh, not so much, especially when the stock market is doing so well. But right now is definitely the make or break time for this safe haven narrative at least until the next conflict hits which just so happens to time with the bitcoin rally i'll be there for that i <laughs> hope you will be too <laughs>
So one interesting thing I wanted to end on today, what you can expect from investments in certain things as versus Bitcoin. So I don't know about you. I have some friends that ask me about investments. I try and tell them what they can expect from stocks, what they can expect from gold. What they can expect from Bitcoin has always been a little bit harder to answer, though. That's why we've got some data to share. Check this out. S&P. 500 yearly returns on average since its inception, so about 90 years, has been 9.8% every year. But that's kind of an unrealistic number now. We're not early to the game. If we start from the year 2000, then the total returns have been 126%, which is a yearly about 42 Gold's total return since the year 2000 has been 424%, which is around 8.6% per year. Bitcoin, right now, 6.9% a day, up or down. <laughs> this is according to a study by BitPremier. While some classify it as erratic, no kidding, Bitcoin's volatility in the past year has been measured. Since reaching a 30-day Bitcoin USD volatility of 8% in January 2018, a time when prices were in free fall, the metric has not crossed 7%. The last recorded high was 6.9% in June 2019, when the Libra-induced wave took Bitcoin to a year-to-day high. Oh, there's always some narrative for the price increase, right? Anyway, I just thought that was hugely interesting. This is th These are the things I would like a financial advisor to actually talk about rather than just not knowing what they're talking about. <laughs> Young people should be looking at the more risky in, uh, investments because should they go pear-shaped, at least they've still got many years to recoup their losses. This is possibly one of many reasons why this space is so heavily dominated by millennials. But this hasn't been financial advice. <laughs> Thank you for watching. I'll see you again soon. Remember when something happened in crypto oh do you guys remember the bull run of 2017 that was crazy remember, remember when we crashed in november 2018 to 3k that was fun wasn't it I remember. Remember. Bitcoin. Oh, I remember. past wars i remember tether i remember. Oh, I remember price rises i remember when the price rises oh, I remember. gains i remember all-time highs i remember profit I remember. <laughs>